In this video is about how to upload your files and folders from the network and get those into Google Drive. And to start, you're going to want to go to a PC at work, um, either a teacher station or in the computer lab, and you're going to open up Chrome. Once you're in Chrome, you're going to want to go to Google Drive, which is just drive.google.com, and you're going to click on this cog and go to settings. And you're going to look down at Convert Uploads. So initially it's unchecked, which means a Word document will stay a Word document, but then it'll open as a Google Doc and you'll start to have duplicates of your files, which can be a confusing mess. So I suggest having this check mark so that your Word documents will become a single Google Doc in Google Drive. And your Excel spreadsheets will become Google Sheets and your presentations will become slides. So I'm going to go ahead and say done. And I'm already in a file, so I want to make sure I click on my drive and that these words are read. That way when I upload a new folder, it's going to be here in my hierarchy, not buried within a folder within a folder. So I'm on a PC at school, I'm in Chrome, and I've checkmarked um, that convert option in the settings. And now I'm going to go to new. And I can upload a single file, but in this case, I'm going to upload an entire folder. And when you do that, you're going to be able to surf and figure out exactly what you want to upload. And if it's in your entire network drive, that's absolutely fine. There's no storage limits in Google for teachers or students. And you would just want to make sure that you have some time. It might take an hour for this to upload, so make sure that you're not leaving, it's not turning off, and that you're not using when you're even using your computer during that time so you don't accidentally close it when it's only halfway done. For this demonstration, I'm just going to choose one small folder down at the bottom called Tricky X. And I'm going to say OK. And immediately you saw this pop up. If you were doing your entire network folder, it might take a few minutes for this to pop up, but I would just walk away and let it do its thing. So I can see my drive. I've got my folders. I already have the new Tricky Pick folder that's shown up. And here I can see it's already created the folder. It's almost done creating the files within the folder. And as this is uploading, the nice thing is I haven't deleted anything from the network. It's all my files and folders are still there. I'm just putting a second copy in Google Drive. Then I'm going to start to work from there so that I can easily access them from the Chromebook. I can access them easily at home in the evenings and I can be in a document at the same time as one of my colleagues and I can easily share documents with students. So I'm going to X out of this pop-up. I'm going to double click on Tricky Picks and there are all the files in my folder and if I want to look at those in grid mode um, there's my grid view or I can click on the thumbnails and that's how you can upload your files and folders from the network into Google Drive.